guys, it's Shallon. Today we're going to talk about what dudes in college really think about freshman girls who are coming in. Now, <laughs> there's a reason the term freshman kind of sounds like the words fresh meat. When you're an upperclassman, and I'm sure you can identify with this in high school, you want to feel powerful and superior and cooler than everyone else and like you know what you're doing. And this is like a feeling that guys have like 10 times more than girls have because they're ruled by their egos, their hunters, blah, 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 that whole thing. So when a guy looks at this whole incoming class of freshman girls, he sees fresh meat, girls who are naive, girls who maybe don't know his reputation. So it's kind of like this blank slate. He can like write his own adventure. And girls who more than anything are going to be bamboozled by this older guy and oh my gosh, he's a beta and oh my gosh, he lives in the beta house and he does it who's just going to be like stars in her eyes, because that's going to mean he can do pretty much whatever he wants with you. He can treat you however he wants, and you're going to be like delighted. She's probably going to put out, and uh, she's going to be like in my fan club forever. We're not going to let that happen, are we? Because you Shaliners are not fans, you're not skanks, and you're not idiots. You're smart, woke women. So here's how you can like get the attention of upperclassmen, which... I'm going to tell you right now, you already have it. But here's how you can get that attention and make it last and make it positive. First and foremost, do not get too drunk. I know you're away from your family. You think everyone's drinking. You're doing keg stands. You're doing shots. I look back on college and I'm like, why was I drinking so much as a freshman? Like, my God, I had no idea what my limits are. Like, and I was like not enjoying myself. I would get wasted. I'd spend the next day hungover. I was like, this kind of sucks. But it took me a really long time to realize that sucks. It also took me a long time to realize the damage that was doing to my reputation. Because, so this didn't happen to me, but a girl I knew got a reputation for peeing the bed. Because she peed the goddamn bed every time she drank. She peed the bed in the dorm. She peed the bed in the frat house. She peed the bed in the story house. And like, we were like, you have to stop drinking this much. Like, you have to. When 19-year-olds are telling another 19-year-old they're drinking too much, they are. Also, when you drink too much, you get a bad reputation, obviously. And guys think that they can take advantage of you. And we know what kind of world we're living in. Like, that's how a lot of rape happens. That's how a lot of assault happens. And it's just how a lot of really bad nights happen. And you're more than that. You don't want to do that. Also, if you're getting super wasted, you can't really have a good point of view and a good sense of who a guy is and what his, his motives are and what his reputation is. And I'll tell you girls, if a guy has a reputation, believe it. Girls often get reputations for wrong reasons. Chicks spread rumors, we get called a slut and like that'll stick for years. It's not the way with guys. If a dude is known as a player, there's a reason and it's not a good one and it's not a flattering thing and you're not gonna be able to change it. If he has a reputation for an asshole or someone who gets really mad or someone who's a cokehead or someone who ghosts, these, that is true. That is true because dudes don't spread other fake rumors about each other. They just don't. So if that is the word that's gotten around, believe it. So the big problem with upperclassmen looking at freshman girls is like, yes, they're going to give you a lot of attention, but that attention isn't going to last. So you make it last by not hooking up with a lot of people. A good example I give is Emily Maynard. She was on the, she was the bachelorette. Do you remember her? She was like little Miss Prude and dudes went in for her. They were obsessed with her. But the other chick, the most recent chick, Caitlin Bristow, slept with everyone and guys were like, ugh, I don't want her. I know, this is annoying. Ho is life. I love dudes. I love sex. It's annoying. But if you really want to like come into college and build a good solid reputation for yourself, popularity that lasts and be like the hot commodity on campus, it's a supply and demand issue like anything else. If there's something that's readily available, it has a diminished value. But if something is rare, if you putting out is rare, if your attention is rare, it's incredibly valuable. So really be judicious about who you hook up with, even kissing. If you do kiss someone, just make sure you're kind of sober-ish. <laughs> be judicious about who you give your attention to. And then you're going to solidify yourself as like the freshman girl to get. And that reputation is going to take root in a good way. And it's going to carry you through the rest of college. So just to recap... Always take an upperclassman's attention with a grain of salt. They might necessarily be looking for a girlfriend. They might be looking for a fan, a new member for their fan club and for their harem, and you're worth more than that. You will determine if that's what they're after by going slow. If you hook up with a guy right away, he's probably not going to come back. You know, like a college dude, that's kind of how it goes. But if you can wait it out, you'll get a sense of his intentions. If he's only out for sex, 
He's going to give up immediately. And good, let him. Let him give up and ghost, which he was going to do anyway after you put out, only you didn't have to give up anything. You know what I mean? Go slow, take your time, be picky, be choosy because you can afford to be. That needs to be your motto all the time. I am picky because I should be. Because look at me. For more on college, check out my entire playlist on college and back to school stuff. Um, even if it, a video says it's for high school, back to school, check it out anyway. There's a lot of really good tips on popularity, reinventing yourself, making friends, branching out, what guys are thinking, first day outfit ideas, all that. And follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at ShallonXO. And if you have a love question of your own, submit it right here on YouTube as a question, uh, sorry, a comment or a private message.